Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Skill RPA. In this video, we will be talking about UiPath Test Manager Connect. As UiPath is deprecating the existing out of the box connectors for ALM tools in UiPath Test Manager coming from October 2024. So, going further to have an integration with UiPath Test Manager and the ALM tools, we need to use UiPath Test Manager Connect. So, first let me go to UiPath Test Manager and create a new project. I'll call this name as UiPath Test Manager Integration. Integration. And I'll just give the uh, prefix as U2MI and create. So, if we go here to the UiPath Test Manager Connect project, and under the project settings, we have an integration where we will be creating our integrations with Azure DevOps, Jira Server, or a cloud for QTest, SAP, and all the Redmine and all the integrations. These integrations are getting deprecated from October 2024. And UiPath brought in or in partnered with UiPath Plan View Hub in order to provide UiPath Test Manager Connect. So, first point. How to get access to the UiPath Test Manager Connect? If you are an enterprise customer and if you have an enterprise uh, UiPath Orchestrator and Test Manager enabled, then you can reach out to the account manager for the UiPath Test Manager Connect license. And as soon as you get the license, you will be provided with the URL and the username. And first time if you are logging in, so you just need to click on the forget password and reset your password. But uh, I already have logged in, so I'm just putting my username and password. So this is going to be our login page home page of the UiPath Test Manager Connect. And before we dive into the Test Manager Connect, let us understand few of the features of UiPath uh, Test Manager Connect. So the Test Manager Connect is a bridge between or integration between the Test Manager, UiPath Test Manager and the application lifecycle management tools, uh, such as Azure DevOps, uh, Jira or Rally or Redmine, whatever you call, whatever you are using in order to track your uh, progress of your project implementation, right? And here the table describes the detailed synchronization of the artifacts. When we say the artifacts are nothing but requirements, defects, test cases, test sets, test results, these are the artifacts. And this table provides you a detailed overview of how the artifacts are getting flown from test manager to the ILM tool or ALM tool to the test manager. So when you say if you consider the Microsoft DevOps, so the requirements are going to be a bi-directional. So here it was given that like it's a bi-directional bi and right arrow mark right arrow mark mentions outbound like from test manager to ALM tool. So we will be considering test manager as our base and the ALM tool is a third party integration with UiPath test manager. So when we talk in that way, so requirements will have both inbound and outbound, defects will have only outbound and test cases will be both inbound and outbound, test sets will be inbound and outbound, test results will be outbound. So this is how the reflection of the artifacts between the UiPath test manager and the ALM tool will happen. So we can see the detailed documentation of almost all the ALM tools which popularly uh, the industry is using it widely. So we have all the details of it. And in order to have an integration, we need to build integration on the UiPath Test Manager Connect application to have an integration between the um, Azure uh, or ALM tool and the Test Manager. So first let us deep dive into the Test Manager Connect and its features. So when we are talking about the UiPath Test Manager Connect to build an integration between a Test Manager and any ALM tool, First, we need to understand the key concepts what we have in the Test Manager Connect. 
so there are four main key, key components we have repositories models collections and integrations so repository is nothing but we need to create our repository connection which is nothing but in establishing the connection between the ui path test manager connect to any of the applications it can be a test manager it can be an azure devops it can be a jira or it can be any of the alm tools so we will be creating a repository connection by selecting any which with which we need to have an integration by default we need to have an integration with ui path test manager and other tools whatever we have for the alm we can just build our connection under the repositories once we establish the connections once the connection establishes plus establishment is successful then we need to look for the models so what actually the models are uh, do is it will create the list of properties what we will be having in uh, uipath test manager or any of the alm tools in terms of artifacts artifacts is nothing but the requirements test cases or defects whatever we have these right that we call it as an artifact and we can create a new model or by default test manager connect provides an out of the box models available if i go to an epic here i can see most common uh, requirement fields whatever we have and we can even create a new model and we will be discussing about how we can create a new model or how we can utilize the existing model as well in going further in our sessions and once the model is created or if you are intended to use the existing models without having a new model created for you you can go to the collections and here we need to build our collection collection is nothing but what artifact we want to have it as part of our collection and we need to do the mapping between the artifact from the target application to our existing model okay and the direction of so the data need to be flowed between the collection and the model and collection can have only one artifact and it can use only one model and it can be with only one integration let us suppose if you are dealing with uh, if you want to deal with requirements and the test cases as well. so you need to build two collections for test manager connect test manager and two collections for azure devops in your case in case if you are taking that azure devops as an example so then we need to build total four collections here and after building our collections we will go to the integrations and in the integrations we will integrate between these two collections from the two different repositories what we have built to one integration and we need to be make sure that whenever we are building a collection our target model should be same for both of them and we will see more in deep dive manner how actually the integration is happening between these two so let me bring out my uh, whiteboard let us take i have an test manager connect and here is my test sorry this is a test manager and test manager connect model connect model and i have an alm tool whatever might be the alm tool so how the data is going to flow is from test manager it will be mapped to the test manager connect and from test manager it will flow to the alm and in case if it is a bidirectional same flow or mapping of the collections will happen so for every collection or every artifact we will be having different fields uh, for suppose name and description summary right so in the similar way we will be having uh, we will be defining in our model so name will be mapped to the name and here is also name and here is also description here is also summary here is also description and here is also summary and we will have this bidirectional flowing between these details and we will see while we are building the connection how the how, how many fields are bidirectional and how many fields are one directional so this is how it will happen and in this example i am explaining with the proper naming matching between the alm and test manager but in some cases the naming might not match but 
we should identify this field is map should be mapped to which field from the ALM and in between we will be mapping that to the model in our test manager connect. This is how it works and when it comes to the UiPath test manager and we are having uh, requirements right. So we have requirements, we have our test cases, we have test sets right and uh, we have test executions and we have test results. How this will be interrelated to the other target applications we need to see that and when we are building an integration between Azure DevOps and UiPath test manager then we will be dealing with this uh, mapping and we will be discussing in detail which actually works in what direction. So this is how the integration between the UiPath test manager connect and the ALM integration between the test manager and the other ALM tools with the help of test manager connect will work. And in the next video, we will be starting with creation of a projects in Azure DevOps and how we will be building our connection in between. So first we will build the model specific to our integration without using the existing um, models and once we build the model and then we will go for the mapping as well and before that we will try to connect the repository. So how we will go is first we will create a repository and then we'll build a model and then we will create a collections and then we will build an integration for each of the artifact and we will see in detail for all the artifacts which it is showcasing between the Microsoft Azure DevOps and the test manager. So we will be creating all these integrations with the help of UiPath test manager connect. Hope you like the video and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.